Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I talk about fragrance, skincare, fashion, and the finer things in life. And today, we are talking about two new releases. What are they? All right, so I have Giorgio Armani My Way Intense, and I also have Givenchy Lantardi Eau de Parfum Rouge in front of me right now. All right, so. I tried these two fragrances at the department store, but I also ordered two decans just so I know what I'm talking about because I wanted to try them for a little bit longer period of a time, which I did. So here we are today and I'm going to give you the scoop of these two releases. So if you have any questions in your mind regarding My Way Intense or L'Interti Rouge, this video is for you. What are you going to do? Go grab a drink if you're feeling a little thirsty. Go grab a snack if you're feeling a little hungry. Come find me here and we're going to be starting our conversation. Alright, so two new fragrances we are talking about today. But before we go into the details, two important things. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. This channel we talk about fragrances and it's a bilingual channel. Each and every video comes in two different languages. One of them is in Turkish and the other one is in English and you just started to watch the English version. These two are exactly the same. And one more thing before we go into the details, today I'm going to be a little bit negative. But that doesn't mean that if I don't like a fragrance or if I don't prefer a fragrance, that doesn't mean that this fragrance is really bad. It's totally personal. It just depends on the person, the user of the fragrance. So if you like any of these fragrances or any other fragrances that I did not like before, just don't take me too seriously because I am a customer just like you are. I try fragrances. Maybe I buy, I purchase more fragrances than the average. But at the end of the day, I'm not an expert. No, you and I are basically the same and if i don't like something that doesn't mean that you're gonna smell ugly if you put this fragrance on absolutely not maybe it's gonna make you so happy so if that's the case nix what i'm saying nix what everyone else is saying just follow your heart and wear the fragrance that makes you happy all right after this important note we are gonna be going into the details of here we are George Armani My Way Antas. Here's my left arm, and we are gonna be using my left arm here. I use my left arm for intense in the Turkish video, and it's just gonna be on top of it. Alright, so I have a video on this channel where I talked about George Armani Original Eau de Parfum. This video is in the description box or up here in the card section, and whatever I say in this video still holds true. I still don't like My Way from Giorgio Armani. I will not like it. I don't find it high quality. I find it extremely generic. Performance was mediocre. And I overall do not recommend original My Way. All right. So when they come up with the um, intense version, I was like, um... I'm going to try. I'm going to keep an open mind. However, I'm just going to be critical again. And... So here we are. I talked about this on this channel before. Uh, it is uh, making things on hands, you know. When uh, designer brands make things on hands, they usually uh, bump up the vanilla. They do that. They also increase the tonka bean. They also make the fragrance a little spicier, warmer. They kind of like accentuate the emery touches. So this is how you do uh, things on hands in the designer world in general. When it comes to My Way Intense, there are two things going on. One of them is that the original has that little uh, wherever woody touches in the uh, blending. That here in the Intense version is taken down to zero, according to my nose. And on top of it, on the second uh, thing that goes on in this uh, Intense version is vanilla. That sugar, that bubblegum, sugar rose white is taken to the max. It's maxed out. So basically, what we are faced with here is that mix the woody vibes, mix the uh, maybe 
mix that fresh vibes that you get, woody vibes you get from the original My Way, and then increase just like to the top, max out that bubble gummy tuberose, vanilla, and sugar. So what happens when you do these two things to My Way? My Way entance happens and it becomes a scent that smells like gummy bear, bubble gum, fruit, and generic sugar. So, it's disappointing. I like sugar. I like to smell edible, but this here is so artificial. That bubblegum tuberose is pushed so far to a point that it, it becomes, it, it smells cheap. I am sorry. If you like this fragrance, again, don't listen to what I'm saying, but when I put my nose on this fragrance, I am getting a very generic, very sweet bubble gum, uh, like Haribo gummy bear smell that is almost like borderline plasticky and cheap. I'm sorry. It, it smells like a Yankee candle, some sort of Yankee candle. And it also smells like some kind of like, you know, room uh, deodorizer from Target. So... I do not recommend My Way Intense, but if you like My Way, you might be saying, all right, this guy does not know what he's saying. I like My Way, but here is My Way Intense, and who is this tailored for, tailored to? When we make things intense, usually uh, designer world makes things a little more mature, more like, you know, uh, tailored toward uh, an older crowd. I mean, if you think that there are ages when it comes to fragrances, I don't really think that. However, in my way, Intense, I think they made this fragrance a lot younger. It is so sweet, so generic, and so kind of like shopping mall. It's just like it feels even like younger than high school. So I, I think this My Way Intense is a total flop. So... In my opinion, I don't think you need to go to a department store or Nordstrom and try this fragrance. If you like my way, you might give this a try. However, I caution you before you spend your money on a decant like so because this fragrance is not going to give you what you're looking for, in my opinion. However, if you like the bubblegum tuberose vibes, the next fragrance line we are talking about today is a way 100 times more. Like, you know, way better choice than my way. And that is Givenchy L'Interdit. Again, I did a video on Givenchy L'Interdit Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and Entance. I like the line. I prefer Entance. I prefer Eau de Parfum. However, if you like one of these three, go spend your money. I think Givenchy L'Interdit is a good designer fragrance. All right. So, I went to Nordstrom in uh, New York City and I tried this Lanterti Hush. I spent some time with it but I also wanted to purchase this decant because I wanted to be more fair to the fragrance and for this reason I have my right arm here and we're just gonna spray Givenchy Lanterti Eau de Parfum Rouge here and then let's just spray around me as well just to get the aura of the fragrance. All right, so designer world, designer companies do something. And I talked about this thing when I talked about my top three Chanel fragrances. When it comes to Chanel numéro 19, numéro 19, Poudre. The opening is fantastic. The opening is spectacular. And whenever you spray this opening around you in the department store, your credit card in your pocket is starting to vibrate. And you're like, oh my God, I need to get this fragrance. And if you fall for this, you're definitely walking toward the checkout and getting this fragrance with the fantastic opening. And I think the story, this, you know, timeline is happening in Givenchy L'Interdit Rouge. The opening is fantastic. You want something that is fresh, that is zingy, that is going to kind of like, you know, push you with a little bit of energy, kind of like a burst. All right, you're tired. You just like sprayed it on you and then you're getting that vibe, that refreshment. You're in the department store, your feet hurt and maybe your bag is too heavy and then your shoulder hurt and then you try this and then you're like, oh my god, it feels, I already feel better smelling this fragrance. 
yes, this is the effect this opening has on you. It is bright. It is a little citrusy, it's orangey, but it is also kind of like a warm, spicy, gingery, kind of like a zinc to it that kind of like, you know, makes you perk up. But when you wait this fragrance to dry down on your skin and live a life on your organ, on your skin, your body's largest organ, the stages, the episode, this fragrance has is not really satisfying in my opinion. That stages uh, of L'Interdi, when it comes to Eau de Parfum and Entance, I like it. I like that sesame kind of like, you know, it, it's more like, you know, scrumptious vibe when I get from that uh, L'Interdi Entance is not here, definitely. There is some bubblegum tuberose still going on here. It is absolutely a hundred times you know, better than my May Antans. This is the one you should purchase if you're eyeing one of these two releases. However, I still think that Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and uh, Lanter de Antans are kind of like better when it comes to Givenchy World and the new Planker Rouge. So, okay, so now we are faced with something that is not made intense on tans, but it says it is rouge. So what makes this rouge? According to my nose, I think the uh, pushing the patchouli on your skin in the dry down is used to make things rouge, red in this fragrance. So when it comes to on tans, you're getting that vanillic vibe, that kind of like, you know, kind of sweet, kind of like a uh, gourmandish vibe. Or when it comes to, um, uh, Eau de Parfum, you know, you also get a little kind of like a woody patchouli and broxen with vanilla and the tuberose. But here, as this dries down after that gorgeous opening, it turns to a, into a kind of like a patchouli fragrance on me. I don't know. It's not like a very heavy, <coughs> excuse me, kind of like um, angel-like patchouli. There is still kind of like woodiness. There's still kind of like a little musky powdery vanilla vibe but it's basically designer world patchouli and i'm not here for this you know i expect more from lantarchi however if you like the all other lantarchis and if you want to give this a try this is okay you can test it on your skin and you can give it a try however i think still eau de parfum and eau de parfum Antans is the way to go when it comes to Givenchy's lantarchi releases all right have you tried these two fragrances please let me know down in the comment section say wow you don't know what you're talking about totally bsing no way or say i totally agree with you my way intense i cannot stand it unbearable and Givenchy Lantardi yes it's nice but hey do we need another Lantardi like so could it be better I don't know I think yes all right so I would like to read your comments down in the this uh, comment section let's keep the discussion going down there you know I don't really get a lot of views when it comes to my English videos I don't know why YouTube is doing that to me but if you end up seeing this video please please leave a comment and let me know that you watched it and please also let me know how you felt and your opinions about these fragrances and uh all right so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for spending time with me uh, I cannot wait to see you at the next one so fall winter is coming so what am I gonna do so we're gonna work on Kayali fragrances the whole whole like you know line I tried them I'm gonna be, do a video about Kayali fragrances and we're gonna spill the tea on them we're gonna talk about Tom Ford's best-selling fragrances we're gonna talk about a very very niche luxurious brand called Pure Distance and I'm also gonna I'm gonna do a video of 10 fragrances to smell kind of like opulent, seductive, sexy this fall winter, the ones that I picked for myself. If these sound interesting to you, please stay tuned and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.